Hello there folks, Robin back with one of the more esoteric functions and features in Photoshop Elements called the Photo Merge Scene Cleaner. Now this is very very handy because it's one of those rare examples where it, it compresses a number of quite complex concepts into a relatively easy and extremely functional interface. Basically it, it, it allows us to do some complex stuff quite easily and quickly. Uh, without having to be experts. So, what I've done here is I've been in a very busy spot here in Japan, which is uh, in, uh, in Kyoto, western Kyoto, um, and it's a bamboo forest and very, very popular. And even on a wet, drizzly afternoon, as you can see here, there are loads of people going past. So, uh, even if you waited 20 minutes or half an hour, which I did, um, you know, it was just continual uh, flock of people walking past, stopping, taking a picture, taking a picture of me, taking a picture, etc., etc. So I really wanted to have like a lonely shot of nobody in the in the image. So, you know, rather than stay until nine o'clock at night, um, I set up my camera, put it on a tripod, and banged off loads of pictures as they walked past, hoping that at some places I'd be able to copy and paste some of the asphalt and some of the undergrowth here on top of the people to cover them up. And we use this feature here under the enhance menu called Photo Merge Scene Cleaner to do that. So we need to um, start off. Well, I, I think the best thing to do best tip I can give you is to remember to do this in the first place, you know, because you've got to actually be there standing in the forest going, gee whiz, this is just driving me insane. How do I do this? I know, I'll take some pictures. Um, so there are loads of time when you know, I'm looking at pictures going, I wish I remembered to take more than one photo because I can merge them. Now, as it says here, to begin with, drag a photo from the photo bin and drop it here to set up the base image. So we can choose just by clicking on these thumbnails and I'm thinking, I'm going to, what am I going to do here? Probably going to use this one, so I'm just going to drag it and drop it. So there we've got this couple in the corner here. So now, just to make um, make it easy, I'm going to try and find a picture that doesn't have anybody in the extreme right-hand part of the image. There it is. So the yellow one. Okay. Now what we do is we draw just an approximate blob around the area that we want to use to cover up the people on the right-hand image. So when I let go of the mouse, check out what happens on the right-hand side at least one of the people disappears, so let's just undo that. And I'm going to kind of draw slightly bigger. Now, the cool thing is, you don't have to be accurate, you don't have to draw around the people. It's very generous in what it selects. As you can see here, if I turn the show regions on, it's actually taken a whole chunk like that and just copied and pasted it. How cool is that? So very, very easy. All right, so now I'm going to, oh, in fact, what I'm going to do is get rid of the woman in the blue wet weather gear here with a tripod and right here just by doing that. Now you can see it's just very beautifully colour coordinated because for ding they've disappeared. How cool is that? Because if I go and try and find an image here to get rid of this lady here. Hopefully I've got one. Now you'll notice here I've chosen a different picture. It's an orange picture. And what it does of course it's all totally colour coordinated, so you can see the yellow bits, the green bits, and the bits from the orange image using show regions. So it's very smart, it's just so simple, and yet it's so effective. Now hopefully, or maybe I haven't got here, yes I have, I've got a picture here, uh, again that's a blue image, I think, just to get the very end of the laneway like this. How's that going to work? Fantastic. If I can just get a tiny bit more. Now you will find with this tool it's a little bit over generous sometimes with the area that it selects. And you may find, I think I'm going to find in this case, as you can see, um, there's, a, there's a tiny bit left. And I'm going to have to go over that manually and probably remove that person in red. Let's have a look. Can I do that? No, probably not. Maybe I can just try a bit of that. How's that going to work? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, just a tiny bit more. So when you've done this, oh, you know, when you've done this a couple of times and you've realized, you think, oh, gee, and she's not enough difference in between the positioning of the people. Okay, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to use a thinner pencil here to see if that makes any difference. It usually doesn't, but oh, there we go. Not bad. That's not bad. I think I'm going to agree to disagree, and I think I might. It's just a little bit hard to actually get the positioning. Let's try to use the red image. Whoops, no, copied a bit too much of somebody else. How did she get there? Yep, that woman, definitely. It, and what's happening here is I'm just misjudging where I'm copying from. Is that going to work? I don't think this is going to work. I think it's going to copy this 
person's head. Let's go to the dark blue. No, that's not going to work. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Let's have a look. This is the orange. No, it's not really working for me either. That's quite interesting, actually. Let's do that. No, not working for me either. And then we'll go to the green. We'll do the green. What's that? Oh, no, no. Okay. So I'm going to live with that. I'm going to click done. Um, so I think sometimes, you know, unless you've done a perfect job when you're actually shooting it, you are going to be left with a few smudgy bits. Um, and that's where some retouching skills come in. So now we've come back to, uh, there's the original picture, that's the base image, and I've cleaned the scene up beautifully. You can see I probably need to crop it a little bit more, so I'm going to use the jolly old crop tool and uh, we'll just crop just a smidge off the edges uh, to tidy that up. Um, if you're not using a tripod, it is actually quite accurate in terms of automatically aligning those layers. It really is quite amazing how it does it. Now, if I zoom in a bit, you can see, yes, we do have a few problems here with a ghosted person coming down the path. But using the stamp tool, and uh, you know, of course I'll do a separate tutorial on retouching, we can just very quickly cover her up with some brushwork. Nobody will notice any difference. And you get a marvelous picture of the Sagano bamboo forest in Kyoto. Looking absolutely beautiful, very zen. I'm going to just be a little bit creative here and try and get rid of some of the sort of smudginess in the road by copying a little bit like that. There we go, something like that. And that's looking much, much better. So now all we need to do is basically fix up the picture to make it look very beautiful. And maybe I'm going to brighten that up a little bit, increase the contrast in the blacks a bit. And I'm going to pump up the colour a little bit because it was coming through beautifully. Something in that nature. And there we have a completely deserted forest, which only 10 minutes previously has a thousand people walking through it using Adobe Photoshop Elements' amazing scene cleaner function.